In this video, I'd like to introduce you to a variation of Mai Yong that you may not be familiar with. It's called Sishin. As you can see, it uses the same tiles as Mai Yong, but they're not stacked on top of each other. Instead, they're laid out in a flat grid of 18 by 8 tiles. Now, the goal of the game is to remove all the tiles from the board and you do so by matching two tiles with the same face according to the following rules. Any two tiles can be removed so long as you can join the two tiles by a line of three or less segments and that line may not cross over any other tiles. This is best demonstrated by actually playing so let's get to it. Okay, the first place to start is often to look for two tiles that are the same next to each other. As you'll notice over there we have two tiles that are the same, so if we just click on them, we can remove them. Now that tile and that tile are the same and they can be joined by a line of just two segments, so therefore that's valid. Over here again we have those two tiles that are the same, but also those two are the same. Let's choose those two, and by doing that we can now remove that one and that one, which are joined by a line of two segments. Okay, let's continue. This one here can be joined to that one by a line of three segments. One, two, three. So let's do that. Similarly, that one there and that one there can be removed. And this one here and that one there can be removed. If we see this one here, it can be joined to that one by three lines, so therefore let's remove those two. And that one now, and that one can be removed. Similarly, this one over here can be joined to that one by three lines, so let's remove those two. Well, I think you're getting the idea. There is another example. And as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it the rules are very simple, but uh, sometimes it can be quite challenging to spot some of the matches. And every puzzle, well-constructed puzzle, will always be able to allow you to remove all the tiles from the board. So what I'm going to do now is actually just put this onto solve automatic mode, and you can just watch the computer solve the rest for you. And by noticing what it does, by the end you certainly will have a hang as to how to play this game. 